channel so I am getting ready to meet up with my girls so we've decided to start doing monthly meetups because it feels like the older that we get the harder it is for us to all meet up at once like to have us all in one spot without it being like a special occasion or anything like that so we decided to start picking one day out of the month to do like a brunch or some type of gathering where we're all together and can just do like a catch-up um so today is actually our first one and I promise I was not going to get dressed today y'all because I am in LA I am from LA I live here and this weather is crazy so we have been storming like it's been storming out here for the past few days like we're getting blizzard warnings it was hailing it's lightning and thundering right now um so i was not gonna get dressed i was gonna do a ponytail and put on a sweatsuit and call it a day but i was like you know what no i'm gonna get cute um and i got a new wig from hair vivi and i was like this is gonna be quick and easy i'm gonna do simple makeup and we're gonna go have fun with the girls. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna do some quick makeup because I did get some new goodies from Benefit that I wanna try out. Um, so that is what we are going to do. So if you hear like thunder or see any flashes or if the lights go out like they did last time, um, apologies in advance. So I'm starting off with this Professionals Light Primer by Benefit. I like the other one. This is my first time trying this one. And then for brows, I'm going to start off with their Fluff Brow Wax. I need to pluck underneath. So they have this pomade. I think it's new because I've never seen it before. I've only always seen their pencils, which I love. I have so many of their Gimme Brow pencils. But I'm going to go ahead and try this out today. And it comes with an angle brush. So let's see how this pomade is. And they got all my numbers right, y'all. Like they sent me number five. And I like my eyebrows and stuff dark. So they know me. So I actually like that it has this little scoop thing right here because I always like brush off the extra. So that's pretty cool. And then I want to try out this micro brow filler. So it's the one with like the little strokes. I've never used one of these before. Really curious to see how it works. I'm only going to use this on like the tail because that's where I'm like bald. And then I'm just going to clean them up a bit using a little bit of my foundation, the lighter one. Now I'm going in with their Cakeless Concealer and this is in the shade number 8, Keep It On Medium Tan Cool. Hmm, cool, I don't know, let's see. And then my Huda Beauty Contour. I think I like this concealer. It's like really lightweight. It doesn't feel like really thick and cakey, but it's giving me coverage. And then I like to mix, y'all know, Huda Cinnamon Toffee and Cinnamon. So I'm mostly toffee right now because I ain't got no sun. I'm just like a dab of cinnamon. So I usually use a sponge, but I'm going to use a buffer brush today because I just cleaned it and I haven't used it in forever. I've never used this foundation on a brush before and I actually really like it. And then to brighten my under eyes just a little bit more, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the concealer. Oh, 
Yeah. Huda Beauty favorite setting powder. Just under the under eyes. And then I like to go in with this ColourPop pressed powder in the shade number 16, medium dark, for the rest of my face. And then I go in with the ABH uh, bronzer in cappuccino. I go in with this Milani blush in the shade Chef's Kiss. No, Cheek Kiss. It's called Cheek Kiss Coral Crush. Cheek Kiss Coral Coral Crush. What? Cheek? Cheek Kiss Coral cr Crush. Why can I say that? Coral Crush. Coral Crush. That scared me. Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness, okay. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting it to be this pigmented. Okay, uh, blend. Let's do pink cheek. <laughs> what? A, why can't I talk today? Girl Next Door and Chic Freak by Fenty. So for my liner, I'm gonna use this liquid liner by House Laboratories. This is by Lady Gaga, and y'all, I usually hate felt tip pins. I hate, 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 hate them with a passion. Y'all know that these are my favorite. The one by Wet n Wild. That was Revlon, but the Wet n Wild one is somewhere on the floor. Um, but this does not dry out. Every felt tip liquid liner that I have ever had has dried out after like the second use, and this one has not done that. My fucking gosh. <laughs> so we're gonna fix that. We're gonna take our little concealer brush and foundation. So mascara, I'm going to use this Kush Mascara by Milk Makeup. And what I just learned is that all of these freaking bin, y'all. I've been stabbing myself in the eye for so long and they do this. Especially for the bottom lashes, y'all. I stay poking myself in the eye. But these lashes, I believe, are Ardell. Um, yeah, I know I just be putting them in my bathroom, so I think that's what these are. I think I need to curl them because this looks crazy. What if they're two different lashes? I have like six pairs of lashes on my face. And then I like to take a little bit of this, especially if the lashes are old or if they have that clear band that's not really clear. To set, I'm gonna use the Porefessionals. Favorite nude by Milani. This is called Tenderness. And then this is Sephora Tamaran. Oh, why not add a little gloss? And then I'm going to set my brows finally at the end. I always do this last, but I usually do it before I spray. Um, but this is their Shaping and Setting Brow Gel. I believe it's just clear. Face is done, and now what about the wicked? It, it smells really good. You guys know you get all the parting space, pre plucked, pre bleached, glueless, put it on your head, walk out the door. That's what I'm about to do. Well, after I put my clothes on. Actually, I have to put the thing in the part their true scalp to the part it's that little tape I already have one cut um, but this is what it looks like and I just 
well, after I angle it. So I like to angle it at the top so like it's like a little point. Like that. So you want to be careful when you pull this off because it will roll up. So I like to use tweezers and then I only pull it up, pull it off like a tiny bit first. So because I have that in the parting area, I don't need to do a ball cap because it's going to camouflage all of that up under there. Um, so I'm just going to put on a regular wig cap. I'm not going to waste one of my like HD ones because no. So I'm going to cut the ear tab part off because this just does not need to exist and I don't know why they keep putting it. But that's just the part that like never has hair on it. It just makes it harder when you're cutting the ear part when that's in the way. be so bad I love a snug wig I always cut a, 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 little, a little of the hair away in the front just because give me my forehead. And then I just need to cut a little bit of the sideburn part because my sideburns don't come down here, y'all. But they have to do that for people whose sideburns do come down there or people with different hair shapes, so. A little bit. Toodles. Boom. And then I'm gonna cut a little bit more right here. Like, do not be scared to shape your lace to your forehead, like. like you do not have to leave it sitting like on your eyebrows. Unless you have like low, a low hairline. I'm just trying to see how far back my real hairline is because again give me my forehead and then I just pluck a little bit in the front so I'm going in with this wax stick just a little bit you can use mousse if you want but if you use mousse you need to be careful when you add like the flatter or the pressing comb because the steam will tear your scalp up okay wig is on and all done she is glueless um, if you guys are nervous about glueless wigs and you think like the air tabs or something are gonna fly up then you can always take like your spray or your gel or your glue and just hit the ear tab part um, and like blow dry it and then that'll just keep this part down and then I leave this loose because it's not gonna move because I have the wig grip on or you can use bobby pins you can take a bobby pin and just like slide it back here and pin it down 
and slide it right here to keep it from like flapping up. I'm not gonna do either one of those. Um, I probably should because it's kind of windy, but yeah, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna leave it like this and call it a day. So this is not a super full wig, like it's not super thick at all. So you can up the density if you want, but I kind of like it like this. Um, but this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is what I'm about to put on. Everything is from Miss Lola's. These are like their Ugg dupes, which I'm gonna wear because it's cold and it's raining. Um, and then this is a cute little, it's their workout set, but you can also wear it obviously as like a lounge set. So this is what I'm about to put on. So I ended up using a clip to pin the hair up and just leaving these two little pieces down in the front. And then this is what the outfit looks like. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one.